On a lighter <laughs> note, thing. I saw a video the other day that just cracked me up. And the title is Cat Mayor Celebrates 15 Years on the Job in Alaskan Town. Now, how awesome is it? And, and then how embarrassing must it have been for the candidates for a cat to get elected over people? And, and, the, and this, the cat mayor has been absolutely fantastic with regard to tourism. And the cat has, um, gets its own letters. And I just find it just priceless. It was... Uh, um, yeah, I think I, I, if I was a candidate running when the cat was first elected, I'd be extremely embarrassed because there's 900 people in this town that were just unhappy with the quality of people that were running for mayor and the jobs that have been done. So for them to turn around and vote in a cat is, is like awesome. And he's for 15 years. So I think that's just neat. It oh. just reminds me of the possibility of Cat Burt, evil director of human resources in the Gilbert <laughs> Cartoons. I just, I, you know, what if you had a real Cat Burt as a mayor? That would probably harsh or mellow. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 even, I don't even know what to say about this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, well, clearly, uh, Alaska has some issues. Oh! oh. Yeah, they're I'm kind not of weird. They're, they're really weird. It's not even they surpass kind of. They've always been weird. We bought them from Russia. Yeah. <laughs> For all those people who made fun of Sarah Palin as the funniest, worst thing that ever came out of Alaska, they didn't do their homework, did they? Yeah, no. no. <laughs> and I and I love Palin. But really, this, this, I cannot believe this was not the trumping story. Yeah. You know, it was just. Well, I've seen some of the new candidates for the new districts that we've got down here. Mm -hmm. Um, I could probably use a political kitty. (laughs) Could you see LOL cats with. LOL cats in (laughs) DC? Oh, yes. (laughs) Maybe things would get done the right way. Tax cuts, you know Ken has. <laughs> no, it's right meow. He has tax cuts right meow. <laughs> right meow. Right meow. Uh, you know, what's that Uh-oh. saying about the people who w- were previous mayors or the ones running against, you know, to lose? Like, that's got to be this embarrassing. Is a lot about- it says more about the people that elected said thing. And so I don't expect this from California, but uh, uh. this has got to be the the laziest town ever. What is it? How big is the town? Nine hundred people. Out of nine hundred people, yeah. you couldn't find one person who was willing to st- stick their butts in a chair for a couple of hours. Yeah, but obviously, for them to have elected a cat, there must have been a lot of garbage happening that people were pissed off with. Oh, sure. I'm you know, because you don't elect a cat for a mayor, you know, unless it's an honorary thing, sort of, you know, just a little town, you know, the town mascot or something like that. But this has been going on for 15, 15 years. I'm so sorry. I'm, I know. <laughs> I'm trying to be serious about this and think things like, well, maybe they have a city manager form of government where the mayor is just a figure. I can't do it. <laughs> I know. I'm trying to figure out how it's legal that they even put this stupid cat on on the ballot. Hey, Don't you have to show birth certificate? Dogs, if dead people Alaska? and dogs can vote, you know, who knows? Oh yeah. Oh Jesus. You know. uh, at, at least this town is up front on who they're electing. You know. Well, and I saw some of the interviews with some of the people in the town. Kind of got it. I'm not even going to lie. Kind of got it. Oh, my God. (laughs) (sighs) And what happens when the fleas show up? I mean, you know, or if there's a catnip ban, you know, (laughs) they might have, you know, legalization of catnip issues. 
wouldn't yeah. that be a thing because because it's like marijuana for cats? Yeah. So, um, yeah, just just a thought. <laughs> and mouse was- discrimination. I mean, mm. the list goes on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a mouse in every pocket. <laughs> You know, it's touch my nip. <laughs> oh dear God! I just, I, I'm just so this ashamed just, right now. This show just went to hell. I'm so ashamed of my country right now. <laughs> I don't even know what to do. I think this makes Greece look like the intelligent ones. <laughs> really? Yeah, my so dogs good. are elected them to governorship of a town in Greece. Oh my god. Yeah, it's like, okay, do we just sit there and you know, dig a hole in the sand and bury the head because it would be less painful. Well, wait a minute. This is a serious discrimination discrimination issue. Where are the elected dogs in politics? Underrepresented. We well, need they to ran, redraw districts. They ran in California, but they weren't as dumb to elect an animal. Yeah. Well, where's Pete on this issue? I mean, they should be up there holding signs, you know, cheering this, donating. Is they should be donating a- to the cat's campaign. Well, Instead no, not in that. Yes. Pete no. should be upset because this cat's now having to work. <laughs> you know, and that should never happen. <laughs> <laughs> you know, even if he does get his own little glass to drink the water out of. So, what the hell is that? Gross. And, and what kind of water was that, I wonder? Perrier, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. He's a cute cat, though. I will say that. Can you see the now? cat going in and breaking ground for the new school? <laughs> <laughs> ribbon cutting. Just chew on the ribbon. <laughs> Here, let me tell you where the sandbox is going to go. <laughs> The playground over this way. Sandbox. I'll be back in ten. <laughs> Terrible. It's just, it's just. Oh my god. I'm just thinking. God, it's not in Nebraska. Texas can't talk. We have towns with the weirdest names and the strangest people. It's just. It's so big. We can fit all that kind of crazy. <laughs> There's enough to go around. You know, and, and, and up at this town in Alaska, does someone have the official title of Caddy, Caddy, Kitty Cat Litter Changer? <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, my God. How does it sign memorandums? Does it, like, ink its paw? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How does it hand out keys to the city if it doesn't have opposable thumbs? Velcro. Oh, you hate her. What's wrong? Why do you hate pe- things without this disposable thumbs? Are you, what would they do again? Well, they because do. Nothing without opposable thumbs can understand me. Except for my dogs because they talk to me. But that's a whole other thing. They understand me. Well, see, your dogs need to run then. They'll win. They can talk. Yes. <laughs> my they can probably give like- better speeches than Obama. <laughs> <laughs> Hers are more understandable. You're a rock off our girl. <laughs> Instead of a glass ceiling, there's a glass roof. <laughs> <laughs> so would would um, Meow Mix be a, a cocktail name instead of a, a brand of food? It would make city dinners cheaper. <laughs> At the Kit Kat Club. Oh. <laughs> Oh, They're serving sardines for appetizers. And soupies. Ew. And if you go in the back room, we've got the kitty, the uh, catnip. <laughs> yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, it, I bet they save water on plumbing, too, because they don't need bathrooms anymore. No. They no. don't have $600 toilets. <laughs> no, just the, the twenty four ninety nine <laughs> kitty litter box. <laughs> oh, oh my god, this is just I can't even believe it's it's a real story. 